Yeah, and, and I've had a conversation with a couple of uh, economists, even locally here uh, as well, who believe that it's a, it's a growth uh, agenda and, uh, and that that actually will be positive. Um, we cannot be geared for just big corporations. And, and quite honestly, I think the, cor- the, the uh, tax system right now is geared towards that. Why? Because they've been able to hire the lobbyists and get the things put into the tax code over the last decades that, um, that have favored them. And what we really need to look at is you know, where the real job creators are. They're in the small businesses that are LLCs or S corporations, which means that if I own a company, I've got the protections of a company, but that income that flows through so I might have a I might have a, a restaurant or a store or a small manufacturer where my income is a hundred thousand dollars. That company made a hundred thousand dollars. I drew a salary of fifty thousand, but I pay tax on that full hundred thousand, like it's my own personal income. And uh, you know we we have to look at the real job creators are oftentimes those small businesses that are adding two and three people at a time, not the big headlines where you're adding a couple of hundred people at a time. Um, and, uh, and we've got to make the tax code work for those entrepreneurs as well. Those entrepreneurs employ folks uh, that, uh, that uh, are essential. I mean, that's, the, that's the, the bulk of it. And I think that the main objective of making sure that the middle class is certainly no longer hurt the way that it has been, and in fact it has an improvement, um, is one I'm fighting for. Uh, I, I, I believe Donald Trump when he says that that's his goal as well. Um, and that's a direction that we should go. So uh, I'm not sure where exactly how, how they're doing their analysis. Uh, you know, folks are sitting down and looking at it. Flattening out the tax code has always been a goal. Uh, I'm, in fact, I'm a flat tax guy. I, I, I'd like to see a a uh, tax credit uh, for for everybody first and foremost, and beyond that, then everybody have some skin in the game. Um, if only in America will we have a you know graduated flat tax, <laughs> uh, and that's a little of what they're talking about. You know, collapsing some of these to simplify, uh, eliminating deductions. Uh, maintaining a couple of key ones. I think you'll see a housing mortgage interest uh, deduction, charitable giving, those kinds of things that will stay. But it's all these little loopholes and technicalities that, uh, that, um, that, that companies have been using. Those are the types of things that need to, uh, to, to really get eliminated. So I'm not sure people can say that, yes, my tax bill a year from now will be X. We don't know yet. I mean, we, we, we don't know because we haven't fully worked out um, what our formula is and what the negotiated uh, at the end of the day between the House, the Senate, and the White House, what that's going to look like. But I, I, I fully believe that it will benefit the middle class. People are, are pretty optimistic, though. I mean, they, they're feeling like someone who has a business background who um, is not beholden to anybody in the quote-unquote system uh, is coming in and hopefully going to be making some decisions that uh, that benefit them and and they they feel like the system has been slanted away from them uh, and and with good reason oftentimes uh, you know they've just felt like it's like every time I turn around it feels like this you know my government's fighting against me me not helping me and uh, and I think they're pretty optimistic about that uh, with Donald Trump.